Hey guys, it's Banang. Today I want to talk about uh, this card here, the White Widow. I want to talk about um, how I feel about it, how I think this is best utilized, and uh, in what situations this card is good and uh, very strong, and what situations it's rather not that strong. So let's have a look at the at the card first. It's a three in mana body. Three four body is a three mana body, but that it costs four. However, it has an effect when you ever you replace a card, deal two damage to a random enemy. And this stacks in two ways. If you have an Aether Master and you replace several cards a turn, every time you replace a card, this minion will deal two damage to a random enemy. Also, when you have several White Widows, every time you replace a card, every Widow will deal two damage to a random enemy. Uh, okay, okay. What does it compare to? I'd like to compare this card to Dancing Blades. Dancing Blades is a 4 mana body that costs 5 mana that deals 3 damage. So they are both cards with a vanilla body that costs 1 mana more but deals instant damage. In Dancing Blade's case it's 3 damage, in White Widow's case 2 damage. Although there are of course differences. Dancing Blades deals damage to the minion that is in front of this one. Both friendly and uh, enemy minions, keep that in mind. Uh, and White Widow deals 2 damage only to enemy minions. And uh, uh, not only enemy minions, but enemies in general. It can hit the minion, but in rare and bad cases, it can hit uh, the general too. So um, I'd like to say that Dancing Blades is more reliable. If you have ever read uh, Zelda's Gauntlet Guide, he says uh, rule number one, play around Dancing Blades. Because then three damage to anything and uh, one general hit, most of the times it kills it. The White Widow, however, 2 damage, yeah, it might not even hit the minion you wanted to hit, right? So it's much, much, much less reliable. However, there are certain situations where White Widow is just uh, playing better because it does some things that the Dancing Blades can't do. The situation is when your opponent plays around Dancing Blades or you can't reach his, uh, his minion with your Dancing Blades. For example, if you play something in the backmost turn and you are on the left side, he's on the right side. Or if he just places something in front of his minion so the Dancing Blades can't hit anymore. White Widow still could hit. And just because that it can hit, it uh, is in certain situations better. Imagine your opponent plays a ranged minion and uh, buffs it and kills stuff. Dancing Blades can't kill it, and you really, really need your White Widow uh, to hit it to win the game. If you, if it doesn't win, well, you lose the game. But if you don't have White Widow, you can't even hit it. You don't even have a chance to win. So White Widow gives you, in those certain dire situations where you have no anti-ranged or no reach, in those dire situations, it gives you a chance to win. So. Because of that, we can call White Widow a comeback card, because it allows you to come back from a bad situation, because otherwise you couldn't win, and with this card you have a slight chance to win. Of course, um, you can manipulate the board, so your White Widow hits more reliably something that is a better target than the General's face. Let me show you a game I had recently. All right. This is the situation. So I was thinking, hmm, I have the choice here. I could either use the White Widow and it has the chance to immediately remove it, or I could play the Captain Hang Hard, right? Uh, I think technically Hang Hard is better because it's a much, much bigger threat. Even um, if the, the Windblade Adept, no, Zealot, survives, the Kiss dies, the difference isn't too big, because that minion in that position is quite inconsequential. So I think uh, Captain Hankhart should be better. However, I was thinking, well, what if he has a Dispel? If it's Dispelled, uh, a 2-4 and a 3-4 body, the 3-4 definitely is better, right? Um, both things are okay, but I was thinking, yeah, if I can remove the board of a Lyanna player, uh, 
I just have a better feeling in my heart, so I decided to use uh, the White Widow. Let's see what happens. It didn't hit. It didn't hit the two, but um, I didn't need the two to die, right? It it's, it does nothing. I just moused over, moused over it and showed that um, it's not in attacking range of anything. He can't use that to kill either my, my value hunter or my white widow itself. So not hitting there didn't matter too much. In 2-4, a ranged minion that I can run away with, or that was standing here, would be better, but um, both situations uh, aren't, isn't too bad for me. I'm, I'm still ahead. I could be more ahead with the, with the Captain Hangheart, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is fine, this is fine. Let's see what he does. Feels like he has absolutely no idea what I got punished. I got punished here. Uh, if you don't know this card, this is Ruby Rifter. When your general takes damage, give this minion, this Ruby Rifter, to, to, at to attack and draw a card. So that means next time when I replace something and the, the, the White Widow hits his general's face, I give him a card and I buff his minion. Not very good. Not very good. Let's, let's see what, what, what his turn consists of. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. He he doesn't he he doesn't um he he just plays this big minion and uh, tries to deter me from using my replace right deter me from using uh, to, from gaining value. So here uh, I have to decide: Do I try it? Do I try to replace, get a better card, and uh, gain value out of my minion? Have a look at my hand first. You can see I have two copies of Concealing Shroud. Concealing Shroud is um, this turn uh, until your next turn, your general is uh, invulnerable. It's a really nice card. I like it, but having two is a bit clunky. It's not really necessary. So I definitely want to replace one of those cards. What happens if I replace a card? I could hit this. Uh, it's a free kill. That's always nice. So I already have. One third is a really, really nice um, result. I could hit this, in which case it's a 4-4. Four, four. I could attack and use two damage here to kill it. So that's an okay result. Or I could hit his face, in which case, yeah, that would be rather bad, right? Like I just explained, I would buff this, he would get a card. So we have a great situation, a okay result and a really 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 bad result. I can change everything however. I could for example come over here, use my face to kill that, but well I just lose the best result. I would have an okay result and a bad result. That isn't that great because in total the result would be less than okay. So killing that is not a good, good option. The other option would be I could use the Altered Beast here, use it on this, and uh, when I hit his general's face, it's okay, it's fine. Then uh, he doesn't get the card, uh, this thing doesn't get buffed, and I can kill it. Also, an Altered Beast transforms anything into a ra random battle pet. It's much more likely that two damage kills it, right? So I could use that. But then I was thinking, it's still early in the game, he might have more big dudes. He might have uh, Iron, Iron Cliff Guardians, um, Elix Stormblades. There are so many big and huge dudes that I might need to kill. So I'm taking a risk here. I'm saying, well, if it hits there, uh, this takes plus two attack, but it's get dispelled. I, I can dispel it anyways afterwards, right? And uh, or just run this into there. So I'm taking the risk. Um, one good result and one okay result versus one bad result. I'm taking the risk. Let's let's see what happens uh, with risk taking here. Let's replace in any case. Nice. Oh, 
okay, 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 okay. So I took the risk and uh, it hit the okay result. That was expected, right? One good, one bad, one okay. So in total, it's okay. So it hit the okay result. I did the dispel, I, I, I removed it. Here, I had the decision to use Concealing Shroud or play Puppy Dragon and the Hang Heart. I was, I was thinking, yeah, Hang Heart might be good, but let's let's keep it at two threads. I don't I don't really need a third thread here. Also, like some sort of tempest, maybe maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking I can win with one ranged minion. Why do I need? Why do I need to play this? If I play this, this is this is in in danger. Let's let's wait for him to deal with this before I play this and. Um, I'm still okay with that. Also, by, by using Concealing Shroud, he cannot use his um, Windblade Adept to go face here. So, so I protect my life. I know the later it goes, the better my um, the better my situation is because I can just grind him down using using my Frost uh, my my Warbird. So yeah, let's see what 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 his answer is in this situation. Oh no! Oh damn it! Now he finds a crossbones after all this. <sighs> Pretty good. Okay, okay. Seems like not playing the hang hard was a pretty good decision. Uh, it could have died, it would have died to the crossbones. And uh, crossbones killing a four mana minion is, of course, yeah, stronger, better for him than killing a two mana minion, right? Also, he made a slight mistake here, placing it in a way that plays into Warbird. So if I find two damage on that thing, for example, by using by replacing and the and the White Widow lands here, he would lose his Lysian Brawler. So let's count here. Let's count here. If I replace, and I definitely have a card that I would want to replace because it's so late and a one mana minion doesn't do too much. What are the results? We have a bad result here. Uh, going face here. I mean, it's not really bad. He's around the halfway mark, face damage matters now, so it starts to matter now, it wouldn't be too bad, but either this or this would be great. If it lands here, I can use my puppy drag to kill it, so it would also be great, right? So when and if I replace anything, there are three good results and one okay-ish results. And um, I still have this to kill that. This is a threat because he can buff next turn. So even if it doesn't hit it, I still have, uh, I still can deal with the board. So replacing here and the two damage wherever it goes, it's a win for me because just having two damage on anything for free is pretty good in this this situation. So I should definitely replace and uh, kill whatever I can kill. So let's see what I do. Wait a second. Why did I do that? Why 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 did I attack first and then replace? Before that, we had three good targets and one okay-ish. Now we only have two good targets and one okay-ish. So before that, 75% of a great hit, and now it's only 66%. Is Banang stupid? Did I just misplay? <laughs> okay, okay, since I'm asking it this way. Uh, at least I believe I did not misplay. Why? Why so? I had full health. I had full health and uh, at full health you definitely want to use your general's face to try to remove anything, to try to gain an advantage. And the only thing I could attack in this spot was either his face or the crossbones, right? So what I was telling you that the crossbones would be a good hit for the White Widow was not entirely correct. If you've noticed that when I was uh, before my explanation here, I have to commend you because then you have definitely been paying attention. Um, not using the face to kill that 
would actually have been a loss. So the crossbones, instead of being a good target, is actually not a good target. If I didn't kill it, I had two good and two bad targets, so it's only a 50-50. Now by killing it beforehand, I have a 66% chance of hitting a good target. Uh, and this is why I did this attack here. So let's see where um, the White Widow hits. Not bad, eh? Alright, cool. We just cleared his board, his three minions, we cleared those. We could play a three drop and uh, we still have card advantage here. We have card, life, board advantage. I'd say that's a pretty good situation. And uh, our White Widow hit three times. One was bad, well, one, I lost one 50-50, one was okay and one was also okay. So. I didn't get amazing results with the White Widow hits, but because I manipulated or I played it in a situation where every hit would be okay, or I manipulated um, the board so I have a better chance of a good hit, it's uh, um, the White Widow gained me a lot of value. So uh, these are the situations um, I wanted to show you where you sh can and should use the White Widow, even. Yeah, if the opponent has something on the board that might de-incentivize de you to play and utilize White Widow. Let's see how the game uh, folds out from, from here on. Just bam 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 get... kill him, just like that. Ah, okay. He's finally fed up with the White Widow and kills it. Another one? Okay. Oh, I see. Sure. So. Oh, no f two free damage here. Very, very unfortunate. And now that he only has one single card, I play Hang Card. Oh, that was a slight mistake. Although, no. Oh, yeah, nice. I wanted this to kill that, but. It's fine, it's fine. Well done! Remember Altered Beast, the thing we kept, because I was greedy and didn't want to Alter Beast the Ruby Rifter? Well, now we have a really, really good target for it. Sure. Oh, come on, really? Oh, man. actually the best thing I could get. So I just wanted to I just wanted to complain. <laughs> I don't even care about this thing because it's so far away. Face damage is literally more important here. Yeah. Unless that thing heals him for more than five health uh, he's lost. So um, Sundrop Elixir would be the highest health. He still dies because of because uh, I can attack. And yeah, Warbird. outlasted. This is like a really, really despairing moment. I mean, what? 
what do I what do I mean? What do I even mean? I don't even know what I mean. Okay, okay. I hope um, you enjoyed the showcase of White Widow, when to use it, when not to use it, and how to manipulate the board so you can get the best results. I will leave you with uh, two more clips, which I will not commentate though. Uh, the thing is, it's I'm not lazy, but you should be the commentator. You have to think. You should think. Um, are these good situations to play the White Widow, to use it? What do you want to hit? And what do you do when your hit does not hit the desired target? So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, click that like button and uh, check out my Twitch account. Um, check out my Twitch stream to see more interesting, I hope, interesting Gauntlet games. So see you next time. Have fun. Bye bye. Mm. I gotta say, God, getting this far has already been pretty amazing for, for this deck. So I'm totally okay with how this is going here. Wow, shit. Shit. <clears throat> Fifty fifty. G G. Mwah. <laughs> uh, oh man, this is some. This is some fifty fifty. Eh? This this could have been game deciding, to be honest. Another one? Is he crazy? Zero mana? You can't dispel that. <laughs> Game was good. Okay, okay. After... Uh... Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah. I really hate pre-buffing though. So I am not gonna pre-buff here. Oh wow, oh wow, that's very very, f wait, oh yeah, that's very very fortunate, holy shit, if I can't remove that, uh, <laughs> I have a huge problem. Planned, planned, baby. <laughs> Not with four mana, at least. <sighs> Healing Mystic? Who plays that card? Celestial Phantom, okay. Oh man. Oh man. So here I have two thirds of a good, good, uh, good hit. Yeah, two thirds chance. Let's, let's roll the dice! Ah, oh, shit. I guess that's what happens. Sometimes you get good cards, sometimes you get bad ones. That 
Quatsch hat die Fall. Ich höre wies. Sometimes you lose. That's just how this works. It's gonna be sad if he has drawn a Phoenix Fire, but uh, still wouldn't be in too big of a trouble. And if he plays any big dudes, I'm just gonna Death Strike seal it. I mean, that dies to this. That's it? Sure. There is absolutely no need for my for my general to attack here. So yeah. He has four cards, so there is definitely some. It's definitely possible he has some stupid combos, and uh, if he can't do that, I just win next round. <sighs> I was afraid of such a card, but uh, the worst thing that could happen is a dispel here. But then he needs to run here, and he still dies to to myself, right? Whiplash, all right. Oh, what? Nothing? All right. That's not too bad, actually. Okay, if I replaced first, I would have won. Doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. No, I just run away. I have. <laughs> if it has, has given me like Phoenix Fire or any attack buffs, <laughs> it would have been game already. <laughs> 